I'm Fernando, and I'm recreating NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building in Minecraft. So if you remember, this building is composed of low bays and high bays. In the low bays we have eight checkout cells, and then there are these four high bays. High bay 1, high bay 2, high bay 3, high bay 4. And separating each high bay is a tower. So there are six of these. There's tower A, which is this bit along here. Tower B, which is this bit along here. Tower C, D, E, and F. There's also some secret areas, which we'll go into in some future videos, which is areas K, L, M, and N. But what I've been working on lately is just starting to work through a little bit more detailing on the sides of the towers, getting ready and thinking about what I'm going to do with each high bay. So currently, you can see there's kind of just some placeholder textures that I've been able to look at. I haven't really got anything inside these towers yet. But I also haven't even got the sides on these towers. So over here on tower F, you can see it's just the framing and I'm just kind of trying to get various different vantage points. So moving into high bay two, there's a number of vantage points here. If we look at vantage point number five, we get a good view of the side of tower B here. We can see railing that goes up and doors that go into areas and a bit of detailing down the bottom. We're actually on top of what's known as a crawler transporter. And these are the things that kind of slide in and under and the mobile launches and we'll go over that in a future video. But for now the main thing is to get a really close look at the sides of these towers and the textures and just recreate them to prepare for the next step. So we've got a little bit of work but we've got some vantage points so let's get into it. Okay, so these high bays are starting to look better now. So if we have a look in high bay two, I'll just show you through kind of each of these and anything particular that sticks out. High bay two that seems to have this open area here, which the others don't. So a lot of these high bays are very similar, but one of the things that I've found is that depending on the age of the photo, often they've made changes. So some photos, there are things that aren't in others. So I just have to kind of pick something and go with it. High Bay 2 has this open area down the bottom where the other ones don't. You can see some of those catwalks and railings that I've put in. Zip across to High Bay 1. High Bay 1 is just filling up. It's reasonably plain at the moment. We'll work on that later. Coming down to High Bay 3. And then finally, all the way across to High Bay 4. You can see in the time lapse that I had to drop this crane. So originally I thought it was up here, but on close inspection I worked out it was actually down here. And also there is a railing that you can go through and get into the towers itself here. And then get access to the crane. I found a live stream on YouTube from a person called Space Gal 
who wandered around the 16th floor up here for quite some time with her phone recording things. So let's have a bit of a look at a couple of the details that I was able to find from watching her video. That's where the people went, yeah, right? Just crazy. Like, just... Like, all the cement and steel. Look at the cable. Like, the cables. And the crane. There's the crane that'll lift the boosters into the spots. And then if you could see here in these holes, that's where they put the rockets inside of to build them up in there. And everything on this side has been changed to fit the uh, Artemis, this bay here. I think this is high bay four, I think. better in there. I can see this is a, a dark room. Hmm. Oh, actually in my bathroom. Oh my god. 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 So yeah, so this door, I've decided I will put this here, mainly because Photosphere 29 over here, if we look from this direction, then we can see that it has there. And this is because the vehicle assembly building is always being changed to suit the needs of the particular rocket that they're creating at the time. The most exciting thing we saw was when SpaceCal looked inside this door and concluded that this was indeed a dark room. Another cool snippet I found from a tour from Kayak 7 Seas. So they went up Elevator 6, and most of the time I guess you'd go to Elevator 6 by coming in this way. But this way is fenced off, so actually the tour went inside this door and hung a right. So let's have a quick look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes BB tour. <laughs> <That's> very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So that's it from me for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you've got any ideas, feedback, or just want to say hi, leave a comment and have a great day.